Our main event is a street fight between the sex gods, Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara, and Kenny Omega and his tag team partner, Matt Hardy, who comes out as broken Matt Hardy. <laughs> this was yeah. just so... This match was so wonderfully wacky. Yes. This, this is basically a Hardy compound match at Daly's Place. Yes. They toned, they toned down the supernatural parts. There were no... Holographic drones. Well, it was it was the broken universe, but not cinematic. Basically, it's what would happen if you had the and there was magic, Vinny. Like Matt Hardy magically is changing into different people. Well, he's changing into different outfits, and this helps him adapt to different persona. But, but yes, but Vinny, he was put in an ice box. He and came very, out as another character. It okay? was a very large ice box. That's he magic. Stashed, he may have stashed an outfit in oh, there. Oh fuck! Why would he stash a fucking outfit in an ice chest? Are you kidding me? That was because magic. He he would lure Jericho and throw him in there. It he's going to lure a man and throw him into an ice chest. <laughs> I didn't say it was likely. <laughs> so, as the sex gods are making their entrance. Pineapple Pete takes a shot at Chris Jericho. A brief shoving match ensues, and very quickly it is announced for next week: Chris Jericho versus Pineapple Pete. Oh yeah! And yes, I believe this is going to be his name now. <laughs> He's not Sugar Duckington. I cannot least, wait. <laughs> Shug D. I cannot wait to yes, see Jericho versus was, yes. Pineapple Pete next week because it's going to be great. Jim Ross and Tony also take time to say goodbye to Joe Pettacino, all he meant to them, all he meant to the wrestling business. <laughs> so they're doing this street fight. Uh, at one point, Jericho and Matt disappear to the back, and then only Jericho returns. It's two on one for a while. It's still Kenny Omega, so he's doing, for the most part, just fine. He grabs Sammy, and as he does in all his matches, declares, you can't escape! And does the Forward fire the rolling fireman scary springs up to his feet, goes to the moonsault, but he misses the moonsault. At which point the heels in the crowd chant, He escaped! He escaped! <laughs> Laughed my ass off. Eventually, Matt Hardy returns, but now he is Team Extreme Matt Hardy. He's old school Matt Hardy. He's Hardy Boys Matt Hardy. He does all all the old twist of fate spots from from, from well the I always love when I see Matt Hardy's old school Matt Hardy because I'm thinking, where the fuck do you get a pair of pants like that in 2020? That is actually a fine question. And uh, like of all the outfits he wears, this is as, as weird as any of them. It's probably a hot topic, quite frankly. Yeah. So they explain that the Young Bucks and Kenny Page are still staying at home. They're not rejoined us yet. Kenny Page? I'm Who's sorry, that? Adam Page. Okay. Yeah. I better not find out this guy's a porn star. I'm going to look it up right now. Sounds familiar. Kenny Page. College basketball, apparently. All right. Or a Scottish radio broadcaster. There's actually probably, quite a few. Probably not him. A ton of Kenny Pages. I just, I just made it up. So, uh, they get all sorts of plunder, ladders, tables, whatnot. They Kenny do this. Page porn. Oh, don't do this, Brian. Let's see. Nope. I'm not going to happen. Lucky well, there you. will be now. I'm sure tomorrow. <laughs> So they do a big splash through the ladder. They have Guevara pinned, but Jake Hager yanks the referee out of the ring. We go to the break. We come back. The action is spilled backstage. It's just a three-on-two match. Jake Hager is just openly fighting for his guys. Good! Well, when, yes. When Jake Hager interfered very early in the match, I was fixing to do my usual rant. It's no DQ. Just fucking help him win. And then he did! Finally! My, my, my only... Co You're right. What what Jake Hager did make sense. My only complaint is that apparently neither Omega nor Matt had any friends there to deal with Jake. Well, they're all in the showers too, apparently. I guess so. I guess so. So, regardless, they go backstage. We have all sorts of fun action. Matt Hardy is in fact thrown into an ice chest. He disappears for several minutes. Sammy throws Kenny into an ATM, finds some cash in the ATM, and pockets it. That was a nice touch. We have Omega being you know, the storyline here was. And even Ross addressed it. There, people have been waiting for Kenny to be the Kenny Omega of old. Where Kenny Omega, in storyline here, was one of the best wrestlers in the world because he's beating up three dudes at once, including the former AEW champion and the guy who just lost to the AEW champion and also their little sidekick, Sammy. Just beating up all of them. Uh, Jericho grabs a pylon, a, a traffic cone, does the Ed and San Antonio impression that he's probably been waiting to do. And finally, just when Omega looks like he's finally been overwhelmed and can take no more, Damascus comes out of the ice chest. Yes, he does. 
And he, by the time he gets out of this ice chest, because he, I believe, was legitimately changing clothes in this ice chest for several minutes. The battle has moved far, far, far down the building. It's a big-ass building, at least the football stadium. It's a huge building. Well, I mean, he could get out of there and change and then get back into it. I doubt he had to change his clothes in the goddamn ice chest. Don't take this away from me, Brian. Fuck. I want to picture Matt Hardy doing the Superman phone booth thing in an ice chest. Dude, you're the one that told me he stashed it in there, Vinny. <laughs> sure, sure. So, <laughs> Damascus finds a golf cart. Which, as they later note, is that really a golf cart? It's like a golf cart that Andre would use. Yeah, they called it's... it a golf cart, but it looked like something like if you golfed in a war, you'd <laughs> use this fucking thing. It was an electric truck is what it was. Yeah. <laughs> so Damascus gets in this electric truck, and he makes it go as fast as it can. And it, it, you know, it's, it's not 60 miles an hour, but it's more than five. And he's zipping on down the hallway, and Excalibur just shouts, He is hauling ass! <laughs> He was fucking hauling ass. He was fucking hauling ass. He died. So Jericho, this is not like Raven almost getting run over on uh, Mania. Jericho gets run over in the safest manner possible, where you know a golf cart is coming at you. You wait for it to come by. You dodge a slide, and you slap the fender as it goes by, and you fall down. And Guevara goes up to check on him. The golf cart, you know, they, they don't... Very wide a turning radius. They're not going to park. So Matt has to drive it further down the hallway and find a big space to loop it around in. So that takes like a minute. And then Sammy realizes he is now the deer in the headlights. And they charge this golf cart as Sammy takes off running for his life. Okay, listen. <laughs> I just watched Kill That Mole again. And we worked long and hard on that movie. Okay. To... Get the shot that they got of Sammy running with this golf cart with Matt Hardy hauling ass and Kenny yes. Omega hanging out the side. Oh, Kenny Omega hanging out the side. Sammy the running for his life. It's like, fuck, I would have had to get 85 takes to get one as good as this one. And these fucking people got it on the first take live. Live. Yes. It's the funniest fucking thing you've ever seen. Sammy is running as fast as he can. He's in fucking jeans with his knee pads over his jeans. He's got his shitty haircut. He's just the absolute greatest, but he's about to die. And he's running as fast as he can. And Matt is like, he's got his foot on that fucking accelerator. This is not like, you know, we're going to go kind of slow and there's going to be some movie magic. He's like, I'm driving and he fucking better either get out of the way or he's going to die. And Kenny Omega is having the time of his life. And of course, Sammy... All he has to do is move right or left. Yes. It's a fucking military golf cart. I just mentioned it does not turn very well. It, it's, it's not going to turn at all. And quite frankly, if Matt tries to turn, that fucking thing is going to flip five times, yes. <laughs> and Sammy's going to kill both of those guys. But Sammy can't think to move to the right or left. All he can think is, I must keep running in a straight fucking line. And then... And this is another digression here. Paisley's learned how to play tag. Oh, hey. But she's terrible at it. And so what she does is she runs, and when I even come close to her, she stops in her tracks like it's a fucking horror movie, and she screams and she faints. <laughs> That's awful tag. That's what Sammy did. Yes. He ran and he ran, and finally he just stopped and turned to face his death. At which point, he was fucking killed. Oh, my God. So I mentioned Jericho did the smart thing, the veteran thing, which is slap the fender, spin off to the side. Sammy, Sammy leaned into this the way The Rock leaned into taking a slingshot into the post, where he basically is hit in the head and goes helicoptering off through the air and lands God knows where off to the side. So in the middle of all this comedy, there is also grotesque violence. Listen, everybody. Don't ever do what Sammy did. This was the dumbest, scariest, most horrifying bump I've seen in forever. He fucking takes his speeding golf cart with his goddamn head and he helicopters and lands on the cement. Yes. Now with that said, what's done is done. It happened. <laughs> so let's celebrate that this was the greatest spot ever of somebody running somebody over in a golf cart. It certainly was. And Sammy is fine. So, well, he's fine now. He was not fine then. He is now out of this match. They have disposed of Sammy Guevara. And they go to finish 
uh, uh, Jericho off once and for all. And Matt Hardy, they find tables conveniently left underneath a scissor lift. And Hardy turns to Kenny and asks, Do you want to be a spot monkey? You may indulge in your addiction. And so he lays Jericho on the table, and he's holding him down. Omega climbs the scissor lift, which then begins to elevate. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> which makes it funnier. Jim Ross openly asks, what are we watching here tonight? <laughs> so Greatness, Jim. <laughs> Hager You're watching shows, an awesome main event. I, I think Hager eventually shows up to make the save, but Kenny just does an enormous moonsault off his scissors. It is lift. beautiful. It was gorgeous. Laid out, Mr. stretched Gymnast. out. Yes. Yes. It's it, perfect it, moonsault. Was this a 9.8 moonsault? Oh, it was beautiful. Yes. So he does a big giant moonsault into the pile. He grabs Jericho, and the, 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 they go to a place where he goes down a ramp and then into the open football stadium. So you can see the football field behind him. And he grabs Jericho, and he puts this gets him on his shoulders. And I thought, are they actually going to do a one-winged angel here on this not padded ramp? Fortunately, they did not. Proud and powerful returned after many, many weeks away in quarantine. And they zoom in, and they attack Kenny. They dispose of him. Uh, they put Matt through tables. They powerbomb Kenny onto the golf cart. They pin him with a Judas effect, and they all make their way down the ramp and turn around and flip off the camera. And over their shoulder in the background at the other end of the stadium, it says, Inner Circle on the scoreboard. A perfect shot. It's awesome. 